Finally, it's in my hands, Vanilla Sex. You're gonna find out all about this if you haven't already, coming right up. Yes, today I'm talking about Vanilla Sex. It's from Tom Ford, the latest private blend collection fragrance. You know, I have to be honest, this thing they did with Sephora was kind of annoying. It's like an app exclusive on Sephora, and every time you'd go on the freaking app, it was sold out. You'd go to the website, app exclusive, you'd see an ad from Tom Ford, only from Sephora. It was kind of annoying. I tried and tried and tried, couldn't get it. Neiman said, we've got it, come and get it. And that's what I did. I bought it from Neiman's, and I didn't have to deal with Sephora's stupidity. So I don't know what kind of a deal Tom Ford and Sephora had, but I was not able to get it from uh, Sephora. And so I bought a 50 ml because I'm going to travel with it in Japan. It's cold and hopefully this will work well for me. But this is Tom Ford's Vanilla Sex. Quite pricey fragrance, really, really expensive. And I don't know who the perfumer is. I have the strange feeling it's Jan Vosnier who's created some Tom Ford fragrances. But if you've already gotten your hands on Vanilla Sex, let me know, put a comment down below, I'd like to find out. But according to the notes, it features bitter almonds for top notes, heart notes features flowers, a vanilla tincture, base notes features vanilla absolute, tonka bean absolute, sandalwood, and ultra vanil. And as I was uh, doing another first impressions video with just getting a sniff at the store like several weeks ago, I mentioned in that video what Ultravanil is, and Ultravanil has a strong resin background. Ultravanil works well in combination with vanillin and ethylvanillin. It is also used to boost the performance of isobutavan. It is a Givaudan proprietary ingredient or note, and that's why I have the strange feeling that this uh, perfumer, Jan Vosny, is the perfumer behind this, because I keep seeing his name whenever there's a post from Tom Ford about this fragrance, he liked my uh, fragrance, and according to the reps of uh, Estee Lauder, they don't really publicize apparently the perfumer until after several months the fragrance has launched or something. So we will find out who it is. But finally, Tom Ford's Vanilla Sex is out. I think it's quite exciting. I can't believe the amount of likes my post has had on Vanilla Sex from almost a month ago. I sampled it almost a month ago before any of the databases even had a photo or any kind of an image on the bottle. I posted on Instagram and it's shocking the amount of likes that post has had. It's over 20,000 20, likes and I mean, it just never has happened before. But uh, if you sampled it, let me know how it is for you. Those of you that own it, also let me know why you bought it and all that good stuff. Let's go ahead and open it up and look at the bottle. One thing I like about Tom Ford's bottles and color schemes, this fragrance right here is this color. So for me, the fragrance smells like this color. So I think they did the correct color theme or scheme for this particular fragrance because it does smell like that color. And here's the bottle, Vanilla Sex. Yeah, it's a vanilla bomb. It's one of the next vanilla fragrances that's been brands bombarding us with vanilla, which I have no problem with. But there have been some underwhelming vanilla fragrances. There have also been some not so exciting vanilla fragrances and also fragrances that are vanilla that go in a non-vanillic direction. So let's go ahead and smell Vanilla Sex. Ooh, I like this kind of frosted looking top. Usually it's shiny, but this is kind of frosted or matte. This is my third time smelling this fragrance. I've sampled it twice now without the launch of the fragrance. And this is the third time present with me, the bottle. Very nutty, for sure very nutty. It's bitter. So bitter almonds is the correct explanation for the top notes very bitter, which is quite nice. And again, that almond nougat is so, so appropriate. I mentioned in my post, I got almond nougat from it. I've had plenty in my lifetime, especially in Spain. They have something similar with almonds, like a nougat consistency. 
I like that flavor and this is what you get here totally. It's very, very bitter, the almond. If you've ever had the pits of a apricot or anything, that bitterness or any bitter almonds even, that's exactly what you're getting here. It's developing into some floral notes. Since this is a very vanilla dominant fragrance, vanilla is already kind of taken over because you've got vanilla tincture in the heart notes, you've got vanilla absolute in the base notes, you've got the ultra vanil, which I read to you about. So it's pretty much dominating this fragrance with the top notes kind of dancing with the vanilla. The bitter almonds are dancing with the vanillas, is what I'm saying. But I think I'm starting to smell some flowers. I feel like the floral notes in this fragrance are pretty much the least or the most faint. Since it is a very vanillic fragrance, it's uh, pretty faint. But there are some traces of flowers. They're kind of nondescript flowers. More flowers like jasmine, perhaps magnolia. Something like that. Maybe a little osmanthus. I'm not getting fruitiness though. But also, tonka bean absolute in the base. So, if you've ever wanted to discover tonka beans, watch a video I did with Dana. She and I dig right into tonka beans and we've actually tasted them as well. They're kind of almond-like. To me, they actually taste like bitter almonds. And it's used quite a bit in fragrances. I enjoy tonka when it goes into gourmand direction. This is pretty prominent with the tonka as well. And for me, the tonka in the base notes amplifies the bitterness of the bitter almonds in the top notes. But um, this is delicious. The combination of the vanilla and the bitter almonds together, wow. I love it. I really, really love it. I like the creaminess as well. The sandalwood has that creamy kind of consistency, the creamy characteristic that gives me a smooth ride while it's powdery at the same time. Because this fragrance is definitely powdery. It's very sweet. It's bitter. It's almondy. It's nutty. Creamy. But I'm experiencing some amber in the base notes as well, even though not, we don't have any amber notes, but kind of sometimes vanilla and maybe even the ultra vanil creates a bit of an ambery touch in the base notes. It's super, super delicious. This stuff is really, really great. Disappointed with Myrrh Mystere, kind of a disappointing fragrance, but with Vanilla Sex, I'm really, really in love with it. This is going to be an extremely, extremely popular fragrance for Tom Ford. I mean, I, I couldn't really tell. I mean, I can't believe the amount of likes my post has had. I've never had a post like that go anywhere close to 20,000, 25,000. So considering how popular that post has gone, this thing is going to be extremely popular because not only does it smell great, it's got the name, a naughty name, it's got vanilla. Vanilla is in vogue right now. People are loving vanilla. This is definitely going to be very popular. I much enjoy this out of all of the other naughty fragrances like F Fabulous, Rose Prick, a Bitter Peach, and also Lost Cherry. This is definitely the king of the naughty fragrances for me utilizing one of my favorite notes of all time, vanilla, and it's done so well. Only negative for this is, only negative, it might come off a bit simplistic. Like, not a lot of things going on because you're basically swimming in vanilla with a bitter almondy touches, lightly floral touches, lots of vanilla, as I said, and then, you know, you've got the woods and the tonka. And basically, that's it. That's all it is. But, you know, like I said, vanilla is very popular, it's having a moment right now, and this is just going to fly off the shelves. In fact, when I bought this from Neiman's, they told me they received 21 bottles. That's a random number. 21 50 ml bottles, and by the time I got there, half of it was already sold out. So this is, this is really going to be a popular fragrance. So what I'm going to do is spray the stuff on, pause the video, come back, and tell you a little bit more about Vanilla Sex. But let's go ahead and spray this on. Let me do some and come back in a little oh, bit. Oh God, this is so good. Man, I've been swimming in this fragrance since I sprayed it on and I smell really, really delicious. One thing I forgot to mention that I actually posted on the original post on Instagram that I did, there is a milky quality about this, creamy, very, very creamy. It acts like 
this kind of doughy creaminess that has lots of milk in there as well, which is really like a, there's a comforting quality about it because of that creamy doughy consistency that I'm experiencing. It's actually like just imagine you're putting together some kind of a recipe, throwing in grounds of things like grounds of almonds and uh, dough and vanilla and you've mixed it up and you're drizzling a little milk in there so it's becoming more like dough at first it was powder so this is becoming a little dough like there's a creaminess about it but still a little textural and a little more granular and that's how it smells and it's super 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 delicious this is one of the the best best uh, tom ford uh, you know private blend fragrances that i've got my nose on and it's it's just really super delicious yeah i i can't believe how good this is this is um a great creation from this house they took a long time coming up with this fragrance because i knew about the vanilla sex for a while it's been brewing and that maybe it took them a while to create something like this but man they did a good job with creating something uh like uh, perfect like it's perfection it's really gonna be found to be perfect by a lot of people i mean there's going to be haters of the fragrance because it's not going to satisfy everybody there's people that don't like tom ford there's people that are probably going to be turned off by the name there's people that don't like vanilla i know there's a ton of people that don't like vanilla i know a lot of people that love fragrances but hate vanilla they don't like the idea of wearing things that are food related for some reason which is kind of strange for me that people sometimes don't like to wear food things i i I love the smell of food and sometimes I want to wear it. But yeah, there's going to be haters of this fragrance most likely. It's not going to be for everybody, but anyone into Gourmand's vanillic fragrances is probably going to want to check it out. And many of them will be really, you know, uh, into the idea of this fragrance. So next up for me, what's to do is to just keep wearing it during my trip in Japan. I'm going to put it to full use and see how it develops. It seems to be pretty strong also for an Eau de Parfum. Sometimes fragrances do disappear quite fast but the way this fragrance wears you know doughy thick dense intense seems to have fairly decent longevity it's pushing along smelling strong selling super delicious or smelling not selling smelling super delicious and really something that's satisfactory for me as far as the smell goes oh man it's good it's good it's good yeah the bitterness is there it's still there so I'm thinking what's going on with the bitterness also. We've got the bitterness of the almonds up top, but I'm also getting the Tonka, Tonka beans bitterness uh, in the base. So it's giving me a bitter overall consistency with the overdose of the vanilla. The vanilla is king here. It is, after all, called vanilla sex. And uh, Tom Ford gave us something great. Finally, something great. So, finally, something that's great for me to feel good about spending the amount of money that it costs for a fragrance. And come a year from now, this thing is probably going to be duped like crazy, copied like crazy. Sad thing, but I'm happy with this particular fragrance from Tom Ford. And do let me know if you are happy with this particular fragrance from Tom Ford. I'd like to find out what you think about it, if you're satisfied with it or you hate it. Because that, like I said, it's not going to be for everybody. People that like vanilla, maybe 9 out of 10 are going to enjoy this one. But there's people out there that don't like vanilla, so most likely they won't enjoy this one. But do let me know if you've tried it. Do let me know if you like it. Do let me know if you don't like it. If you haven't tried it, are you going to want to try it? Or are you going to skip this one out? Because it's so pricey and it's Tom Ford. You don't like the name. Something, something. Yeah, put a comment down below so I can find out. And those are my thoughts on vanilla sex. Now that I have it, I am so, so in love with it. That's Vanilla Sex from Tom Ford. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching today's video. If you have any questions or comments, please list below. Please like this video. Please share it. Follow me on Instagram and Facebook. And I'll be back with more videos very soon. Have a good one. Goodbye.